Whole plant of nuggets and fries, under 500 calories, over 40 grams of protein, all of this, only four ingredients. So easy. Dieting has never been this easy. If you think you can't eat nuggets and fries to lose weight, think again. This meal requires such little effort, it is an absolute cheat code for dieting. Potatoes are one of the most satiating foods out there. If you look at the satiety index, potatoes are at the very top. It destroys other foods, except when you cook potatoes with a ton of oil, it defeats the purpose. It's incredibly high calorie. That's why I'm going to show you how to make crinkle cut fries in your air fryer. They're going to be so freaking crispy without any oil. I'm also going to show you how to make three ingredient chicken nuggets. The easiest chicken nuggets you will ever make in your life. This meal is so satiating for such little calories. Let's start with the French fries. Potatoes are mad dirty. You got to wash them real good. Run them under lukewarm water. You got to scrub them real good. If you got a potato brush, use that. I don't got one, but I got hands. So I'm going to scrub the shit out of them until they change color and I can see the potatoes visually getting lighter. Pat down your potato. We don't want it wet. That's around two small to medium-ish russet potatoes. We're going to use a crinkle cutter to chop the potatoes up because crinkle cut fries are so much crispier than regular fries. There's more nooks and crannies that can get crispy in the air fryer raw ass potatoes into your air fry basket no seasonings no oil toss them in it is completely okay if they overlap and then put them in 400 degrees fahrenheit for 10 minutes then we're going to take them out and we're going to toss the shit out of them because we want every little bit crispy put them back in the air fryer 400 degrees fahrenheit for 10 more minutes then we're going to take them out again now is when we add our seasonings and some spray oil garlic powder salt and put them back in your air fryer four to five more minutes max and when they come out, they're gonna be so crispy. I made a fat loss cookbook with 150 recipes that helped me lose over 100 pounds and go from this to this. From dessert recipes like donuts, cookies, and cheesecakes, to savory recipes like pizza, crunch wraps, and pastas. This book contains everything you need to lose weight. I'm constantly updating the book with new recipes and you'll get free updates forever. Go check out my cookbook. It'll help you achieve your goals while enjoying the foods you love. And then to make the easiest chicken nuggets you have ever made in your life, it starts with a can of chicken or a can of tuna or a can of any meat you like. I got tuna. Having canned tuna or canned chicken breast at your house at all times is a protein source hack. A can of tuna is 100 calories and 25 grams of protein, zero grams of carbs, zero grams of fat. It is pure protein. Very, very important thing. When you go to the grocery store, you will find two types of tunas, canned tuna in water and canned tuna in oil. If you get the one in oil, it is incredibly high calorie. You absolutely never get it. There's no place for that in this world. Get the one canned in water. It will save you so many calories. Pop that can open, drain it, drain all that tuna juice. We don't want any of it in there. Empty the tuna into a bowl. Add in whatever seasonings you want into the tuna. I'm using salt, black pepper, garlic powder and some smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is the best thing ever invented. It is like powdered barbecue sauce. If you like it kind of spicy, a little basco racha goes in, any hot sauce of your choice. And then I know it sounds weird, but crack an egg into this. It's not gonna be a tuna omelet, just trust me, the egg will bind everything together. And then add in a quarter cup or 28 grams of any cheese you want. I'm using Mexican blend, because it's the best. I dropped cheese all over the ground. 28 grams is it's a good amount of cheese, man. Mix this all together until it forms one combined mixture. I know right now it does not look appetizing, but just trust. Take a scoop, put it in your fingers, press, and that's literally it. Done. I made eight chicken nuggets. These are big. These are each two inches. That's big, right? That's, that's big. That's big. Let's spray all on this side. Give them all a flip. Add all your nuggets to your air fryer basket. Make sure you space them out. You don't want them touching each other, otherwise they'll steam and not get crispy. So leave some space and pop this in your air fryer. Air fry on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. There's no need to flip this over halfway through. Just leave it, let it cook. These are so crispy, oh my God. Calories and macros for just the fries, 232 calories, six grams of protein, 53 grams of carbs, and one gram of fat. I tracked a little bit of fat for the oil spray. Just the nuggets, 225 calories, 31 grams of protein, zero grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat. The nuggets are a protein hack. And then the entire meal, nuggets plus fries, everything I cooked, 497 calories, 41 grams of protein, 53 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat a perfectly balanced meal, insanely high in protein, incredibly satiating for under 500 calories. McDonald's doesn't care about your calories and macros. McRaw does. I'm McRaw. No, it's Raw Donald. Yeah, Raw Donald.
McDonald's doesn't care about your calories and macros, but Raw Donald's does. Are you one bite of the nugget? Mm -hmm. I have to do it too. If you want every single recipe I use to transform my physique and lose over 100 pounds, check out my cookbook. It has over 150 recipes with free updates. It's going to just keep getting better over time.